Hi, my name is Ann Tyler Hall, and I am a principal and attorney at Hall Benefits Law, an ERISA and benefits law firm located in Atlanta, Georgia. In our last video, we reviewed three types of fiduciaries and their respective functions, and we closed by stating that ERISA holds fiduciaries to a prudent man's standard of care, which generally means a fiduciary must act in the best interest of participants and beneficiaries. As a review, the following duties are inherent in the prudent man standard of care. The exclusive benefit duty, the prudent expert duty, diversification duty, plan adherence duty, and the disclosure duty. Today, we'll take a closer look at each of the duties and what happens when fiduciaries don't live up to their responsibilities as required by law. The exclusive benefit duty, also known as the duty of loyalty, states that fiduciaries have an obligation to discharge fiduciary duties solely in the interest of plan participants and beneficiaries, and that a participant must act for the exclusive purpose of providing benefits to participants and beneficiaries. Paid plan expenses must be reasonable and relate only to plan activities. Prudent expert duty states that fiduciaries have the duty to understand what is going on. Fiduciaries without sufficient understanding of an area must hire people with sufficient understanding and experience to give appropriate advice. And the fiduciary must act with the care, skill, prudence, and diligence under the circumstances that a prudent fiduciary acting in a similar capacity and familiar with these matters would use in a similar plan. Diversification duty calls for plans to diversify their investments to minimize the risk of large losses unless under the circumstances it is clearly prudent not to do so. In general, ERISA does not set out actual percentage limits for plan invest investments. Plan adherence duty requires fiduciaries to act in accordance with applicable plan documents if the documents are consistent with ERISA. Fiduciaries cannot follow plan provisions that violate ERISA and every plan must be in writing. Disclosure duty requires fiduciaries to provide plan participants with full disclosure of material facts related to transactions within the plan. Also, all of the various documentation required by ERISA must be provided to the plan participants. Plan fiduciaries who breach any of these responsibilities, obligations, or duties imposed on them by the ERISA statute have a personal liability to make good to the plan any losses sustained by the plan as well as ill-gotten profits resulting from such breach. Fiduciary breach lawsuits, individual and class action are common and they are expensive to fight. Hall Benefits Law strongly recommends that plan sponsors proactively engage ERISA counsel to ensure that they are meeting their fiduciary duty under law. Thank you for watching.